Hey everyone, in the last video, I shared my Fuji X-T3 and GGI RSC2 gimbal setup. And I want to do a follow-up because I've made a few modifications since then. Uh, check out the last previous video. I will link it wherever it is up here uh, to the setup using the DJI Raven Eye system, which is mounted and balanced down here. And also using the Fuji RSS control cable. I think a lot of people are interested in that. I'll put a link in the description below. But again, today I want to focus on two enhancements I made that wasn't featured in that last video. One of which is I have a Rode Wireless Go that's up here. Um, it sits on the hot shoe in this case, but it's just a cold shoe clamp over here. Uh, I chose the Rode Wireless Go because one, it's super light and it's a pretty good wireless transmitter. I've used uh, the Sennheiser G3s in the past. Um, this is just really, you know, it's dummy proof even for me. And um, on the right hand side here, I have uh, the transmitter. So again, uh, the, the receiver and speaker, which is or transmitter, right? Yeah, it's a transmitter. Uh, so this is something that I would, if I were to do a filming project, it has a built in mic. I also have the lav system that you can do as well. But if you're running gun, you want to go fast. Uh, it's something I can clamp on here. And now it's part of here. This audio is still coming from a different source. So uh, not the road wireless go. Um, in order to get that over here, um, there are NATO clamps that's built into the RSC2. And I have a small rig, just a NATO clamp with a uh, cold shoe mount. And a cold shoe mount gets um, screwed onto the clamp, and then the clamp gets attached to here. Now I chose this setup here because then I can clamp on accessories. If I'm going around, I can make sure I keep this here and not lose it. So it's all part of one complete rig. The other enhancement I've made recently is you have the tripod down here. And if you're using this tripod, um, perfectly fine if you want to set it on a table so you can put it on a table. Now, if I wanted to go out and carry a bigger tripod out in the field, so let's say I have this tripod here and I believe this is a three-legged thingy. Is that what it's called? Three-legged thing. This is the Punks carbon fiber. Ooh, I got fancy at one point. So this is a carbon fiber tripod, travel tripod, fairly light, three legs, and it comes with an Arca Swiss mount. So what I wanted to do was be able to take off this tripod and attach it to this. And so... I'll show the piece in a little bit, but I'll just demonstrate how this works. And I've taken it off and I'll put this away. And there's a, a quick release kit here with an Arca Swiss that I can put onto my tripod, mount that. And so now I have my gimbal on a tripod that I can set up out in the field somewhere and I can just continue to use it. Um, and there's the setup. It's actually pretty cool. And what you can do is you can lower it, make adjustments, whatever, whatever height I need, and then use the active track system as a way to film myself essentially, set up one location, use active track on my phone, and, um, and then that tracks me along with the wireless video. Now the component down here, I'm gonna leave, leave a link also to it um, as part of the small rig is it's just, it's a rounded base plate with an Arca Swiss. Um, essentially, I guess you could have used any base plate. I went with this one uh, just because it's kind of a cool design. Now, the only downside, I had to do some modifications, is these are designed for tripods with 3 8 thread. This is a quarter 20. And so I had to get in a quarter 20 to 3 8 adapter that goes here. And you can screw that on. So that's part of the original tripod that came with the gimbal. Now has this base plate, if, base plate, if you will. On the gimbal side is a base plate down here, or it's an Arca Swiss mount. Goes on to that's designed proprietary specific this one. And what's good is it has like these little kind of rings or hooks in here. It keeps it from sliding out. And so if I'm using in this mode, and I tighten it down, 
feel like it's pretty secure. It's not going to come loose and uh, fall off on me. So I can use it traditionally just the way it was intended using this small little tripod here. But I can also at any given point quickly release it, get it on top of this tripod and use it for a different purpose. So I'll do it one more time. Arca Swiss mount. Boom. So a couple links in the description below uh, if you are a Fuji shooter and really any camera doesn't matter. I just happen to be Fuji and I think people are coming here are hopefully Fuji shooters as well. Uh, check out the Fuji RSS cable. I'm using the Rode Wireless Go for audio. Mounted on the side here is just the uh, transmitter. And um, using a small rig base plate to an Arca Swiss part here. A uh, little bit of adapting, but now I have something I can carry around. And I have not tested yet, but I assume you keep the legs somewhat extended. Now when you do gimbal work like here, it acts almost like... Uh, I don't know what the exact term is, but it's like a super gimbal. It's like a gimbal with a tripod weight. You would normally use a uh, glide cam, I believe. So this should give you double stability. I'll do some test footage one day when I'm actually able to get outside. It's pouring rain in the Pacific Northwest. So, hey, everyone, thanks for joining. All the links are in the description below. Some affiliate links that you can support. Most importantly, leave a comment. Give a like. Um, this content is kind of fun. My goal in 2021 is to grow this channel across various different things. And so you'll be learning all kinds of fun things uh, today. We're going to do camera work. So see you in the next one.